All right, I know my room's a mess, so don't look behind me in this camera. But what's up? So I had this problem, especially when I started working in Procreate. I would do some layers. I would mess around with the the layer, um, the different layer options. You know, here I would mess around with a lot of the layer options. Sorry, that's pretty flashy. And let me put that back to normal. And sometimes I would merge the layer. And then the layer would change and it would be really, really annoying. So I'm going to show you why that happens. So I want to make this star glowing. All I did was use my star stamp brush here, which I always make. If I use objects a lot, where's my stamp brushes? There we go. Which I use a lot. There's my star stamp brush. Let me try to get this so it's a little more on me. Let me just, I'll just lean back. Okay, so now I made a star. I changed it to the color that I wanted, just color here. And I just duplicated the star and I did the Gaussian blur underneath it. So that's why it's like kind of glowy like this. So I just duplicate the star, take the star underneath it. Let me take this off alpha lock. Um, and then you do Gaussian blur. And I just did that a couple times until I got the blur that I liked. And there's the star with the blur. So once you have whatever you're drawing, whatever you're making, um, it is fun to mess around with the layers. So let's add a new layer above. Uh, and here we have the layer options. And right now it's at normal. So let's say we want to make this thing look like it's glowing from the center out. Um, we would use a lighter color and an airbrush. You can use any soft airbrush. Uh, and we want to put the opacity low so it kind of stays kind of you know, not to, the, you want the fall off, you want the edges to look nice and, um, nice and soft. Make it a little bit brighter. I'll make this a little lighter. And of course, I forgot to change the layer. So I'm going to change it to add. Bam. So now it's on an add layer. So let's try this again with an add layer. I use add a lot. So there we go. We have the glow look like it's coming from the middle. Let me make sure this looks okay. It looks good on camera. So what's happening here is the add layer is affected by the star underneath it. So it's affected by um, whatever light colors are underneath it. That's what's making. That's what's giving it this effect. So essentially, if I was just to take a different brush, well, I'll use the same brush, and. do this it gives it these nice these nice colors once it comes into contact with the green and even outside of the green so you know it, it can really really look beautiful and I love using the ad brush because of this fall off it makes it really look like it's glowing but the problem comes when you want to merge them so we have our ad layer here we want to merge it and then it looks like that which is completely not the same still looks cool in its own way it looks cool on the green but it doesn't look like how we had it. it doesn't look like how we had it so let's move back now you can see the difference I'll do a close-up just so you can see better but we want our nice fluffy glowing edges uh, and th the same thing goes with other types of layers let's see if we move this you know like Let's say we want this. Looks kind of like an X-ray. Let's say we want this, but wait, why, how did I get so dark? Oh, it's because I was out of the light. Once I move out of the light, it focuses on the the back. Sorry about that. I just get too excited when I'm doing these. I'll move the mic a little bit closer. There we go. Oh well. Um, so the same thing happens with other layers. We have something we like. We want to merge it. Dang, it does something really, really stupid. So this can be kind of confusing in the beginning because you don't really know like why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So the reason why it's doing that again is because we'll go back to our trusty add layer. The reason why it's doing it is because it's only being affected by the light parts that are underneath it. So, you know, we have the background, we have the background of the, the whole image. And as you can see, there's nothing behind it. So it changes and does and makes it really ugly. So the only way to really change this is to take our background we have our we have our blur here so let's merge the stars because they're normal layers and I made an extra background here 
here's the background of the project, but sometimes I'll just make a new layer and just make my own background. Uh, that way I can easily, if I want to change the colors or something, I can change the colors. So we have our background, and now I'm going to merge the star and the background. So now everything is one. The star is merged onto the background. Of course, you have to make sure that you're at a place where you can merge it, you know, where it's not going to mess up anything else in your project. And now we have this lovely glow, and we can merge it, and it will merge nice and beautiful, and it will stay the same because the star was merged into the background, so it has a base. So once again, if you're doing stuff on different layers, let's go back. Let's go back again. Ooh. Let's go back a few more times. There we go. So now we have our background. And you want to use an add layer, so you hit plus, you get the little N, you go to add. And you want to make it really, really bright. You know, let's change the color up just to be. Yes, yes. We'll change it to a. There we go. We'll change it to like that orange color. So you have this really nice orange color, but you want to you want to just like take it to the next level. So you go to a really light. A really light, warm color and. I don't know, you want to make some crazy beams coming out of it or something. What did I do? I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure you're on the right layer. So now I'm on my add layer. So you want to make some like really cool like beams coming out. I don't know what you want to do. You want to make it real sort of like glowy and you know when you're doing crazy stuff let's say you want to use the add layer and you want to add some stubble sounds weird but trust me stubble looks awesome so you add some awesome stubble you add some what else do we want to add here we want to do some light pen you want to make some like color pops Sorry, I'm getting a bit excited. I don't know why. So you make some cool color pops and things like that. You know, you even do some... Whatever, that's good. So you make some color pops. You really have something you like. It really looks bright and cool and awesome. And then you're like, okay, so now I'm good. Let me just... I like these stars. Let me merge them together. And then bam. Actually, it didn't look, didn't look too bad, to be honest. But still different. It's different than what it was. See, it just kind of like, it kind of takes the life out of it. It makes everything flatter and duller. See, we'll go back and forth so you can really see the difference. It's what we want, what we don't want. So it's a slight change there, but it's a change nonetheless. And we don't want our layers to change on us, you know? Um, so. As I was saying, if you have this situation, uh, you know, just make a layer underneath it. Make something underneath it. Like right now we have this background, this cool background, and I have to merge my star to the background. Then I can merge my uh, add layer and it won't change at all. And that's pretty much the only way to do it. If you're in a situation where you only want You only want the star to take the uh, what are you whatever you add into it. Then add a new layer here, and you can either click on this layer and do clipping mask. So that will clip to the star, whatever's underneath it. It'll just clip to that. And just so you can see it really quickly, we'll do the same cylinder. Am I on the right layer? I am, but it's not an add layer. Add. So you do the same thing. Uh, why is it? Wait a minute. Why did it? Hold up. Let me see. What did I do? What did I mess up here? 
Oh, maybe it's because... Oh, I know what it's doing. So the reason why it, it was coloring outside of the star is because I forgot that I merged my glow. So all of this glow is actually taking it as well. So that's actually being pretty helpful for us. Um, whereas if I just had... Let's bring another star in here. If I just had a star... Stamps, stamps. Ooh, it's big. If I just had a star here, and that clipping mask was above the star, I always forget to... Oh, I make it an add layer. Clipping mask. So then it just sticks in inside the uh, star. So that's the only difference. Let me make it lighter so it actually looks like a glow. So it stays inside the mask. Another way to do that, if you don't like doing clipping masks like me, I just tap on the star, I hit select, tap on layers again, then I go up, and I just do it that way. I mean, I guess clipping mask is easier, but I don't know. I don't like using the clipping mask. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. If you're using an ad layer, you just want to make sure if you have something cool, it's not going to work if you just merge it down onto the star. It's going to change. Unfortunately, see the color changes. So you just have to make sure that your ad layer stuff is only on this, the colors that's underneath. And if you want to be able to just use the ad the ad layer as is. You have to merge it and have something underneath the whole star. And then it will react the way it's supposed to react. Hopefully that makes sense. Essentially, in a nutshell, if you're going to use layer options or layer modes, usually you have to have a base underneath because that's what the layer is affected by. So if you don't have a base, like if you have a bunch of layers, and your layer but below it that you're trying to merge is just a star and there's some of your ad layer is outside of that star outside of the affected part it's just going to flatten as though it's a normal layer so it's not going to look good so if you're using the ad layer the only thing that will add is whatever's underneath it you need a base or you need to flatten your image completely and then you can add a layer you can do the ad layer on top of that layer because you need a base you need something underneath it uh, that was so confusing to me in the beginning. If you play around with it, you'll, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Keep drawing. I'll catch you in the next video. I know you, there's going to be a lot of confusion. So just uh, let me know in the comments because I can just do another quick video like this. And I can clear up the issues or wherever the confusion is. And I'll just make another video or I'll do a live. And uh, we can clear it up. We'll get you on the right path. I will help you figure out whatever you need to figure out. Just let me know in the comments. All right, keep drawing. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.